Dr. Paul, what is your response to those who would say your foreign policy is dangerous? I would say just look to our foreign policy of the last hundred years and I would say that that policy was very dangerous and very detrimental. No, I think what they're saying there is uh, they like to say what the foreign policy I talk about is uh, not a foreign policy of non-intervention but isolationism. And it isn't that at all. It's the foreign policy of the Constitution, the founders. Uh, the isolationists are the ones who want to um, put barriers up and put sanctions on other people and not have friendship with people that are different than us and maybe not uh, saying the same things. But the founders advised that we should trade with people and be friends who will accept friendship. Now that we trade and talk to China and Vietnam, just think of all the waste, 20 years of waste with the French and Americans in Vietnam. And finally, we, we d declared that we can't win that war. And now they have become westernized by trading and traveling and talking to people. So there's a big difference. I think going into countries like we do now uh, uh, creates the enemies. And, uh, and, and the idea that we can bomb any country in the world, now we take that for granted that we can use these drone missiles and go over and assassinate and kill people. I see that dangerous because I think that diminishes our national defense and it certainly leads to bankruptcy and it's the bankruptcy of the country that is essentially the worst kind of detriment to and our foreign policy is a major contributor to the coming bankruptcy of this country.